Welcome back. President Biden is calling out Elon Musk, saying the billionaire bought a social media platform that, quote, spews lies across the world. End quote. The president's remarks follow news that Twitter laid off thousands of employees, including 15 percent of its trust and safety workforce, just a week after it was acquired by Musk. CNN tech reporter Brian Fung is following the story for us. So, uh, Brian, uh, good to see you. So let's talk about these massive cuts. I mean, and they come just days before the midterms. In fact, civil rights groups say it could jeopardize the platform's ability to safeguard the democratic process. Is Twitter... Is there anybody left at Twitter to even respond to the critics? <laughs> well, Fred, uh, Twitter is saying that it's still committed to protecting the election and that none of its content moderation policies have changed. But as you pointed out, civil rights groups and leaders are saying that you know even though Twitter uh, may still have these policies on the books, the layoffs could make it harder for them uh, to enforce the policies that it does have. Uh, meanwhile, you have uh, major advertisers pulling out of uh, spending on Twitter uh, advertising, and that's caused sharp declines in revenue at Twitter, uh, according to Elon Musk. And, uh, you know, to shore up revenue, Musk has uh, this kind of harebrained plan to uh, charge people for verification to have that little blue check mark on, on next to their accounts, which some democracy experts have said, uh, you know, could have unintended consequences if it's rolled out um, in the post-election period or even before the election potentially, uh, you know, without proper testing. You could potentially see, for example, uh, you know, some people paying to have that blue check mark and then changing their names to impersonate uh, official accounts or uh, or try to spread misinformation uh, under a verified account. Uh, and how would the company respond to that uh, with a, a smaller workforce? It's unclear. Um, Twitter, of course. Mm -hmm laid off 15% of, of its uh, trust and safety team, but 50% of its overall workforce amounting to about 3,700 people across wow. the overall uh, company. Uh, all of this, of course, coming just days before the election, uh, injecting further uncertainty into an already chaotic situation, Fred. Yeah, and Brian, I think a lot of us have been reading all about what a lot of former, you know, Twitter employees have been saying, but now what about the former CEO? How uh, you know, what, what kind of reaction is coming from the former CEO? Yes, well, Jack Dorsey, the former CEO of Twitter, just tweeted about a half hour ago. Let me read uh, what he said. He said, folks at Twitter, past and present, are strong and resilient. They will always find a way, no matter how difficult the moment. I realize many are angry with me. I own the responsibility for why everyone is in this situation. I grew the company size too quickly. I apologize for that. Very interesting tweet mm. uh, from from Jack Dorsey's taking accountability or responsibility for having uh, you know grown the company too large and thus uh, putting the company in a position where layoffs may have been necessary. But uh, you know not really addressing some of the other uh, election security or election. Um, uh, integrity mm -hmm. questions that are swirling around Twitter at this time, uh, you know, at, at this very sensitive time, Fred. Yeah, a remarkable sequence of events. Brian Fung, thanks so much.